All right, so we're checking out a couple of new frames here from STP Hobby. So if you, if you guys aren't familiar with STP Hobby, they're actually the same guys, I believe, that make the Rush FPV video transmitters. So I think it's under their same company, just a different brand, and they make frames. I'm not sure if I did a review on another one of their frames or not, but I think they've made some other frames. So this is the four inch. They're calling this the Aquila four inch, and they also have a uh, five inch version I'm calling this micro long range so obviously ultra light um, builds or ultra light frames let's take a look at what we get here okay so they jammed a bunch of stuff here in uh, one of the bags I pulled all that stuff out we'll look at that here in a second here is the, all the carbon parts and it looks like it's vacuum sealed like such you have your front and back arms and then you have your various plates for holding the um, frame together. Uh, this is just the four inch version. I'm pretty sure the five inch version is gonna look pretty much the same. I believe it's almost the same frame except the arms are longer to accommodate the five inch arms. Um, but yeah, I wanted to keep the parts separate. I'm gonna build this one first and then we'll look at the five inch version, see if there's any differences. I don't think we'll see any, but here's what's all the other parts here that you're gonna want to uh, be aware of, you got a battery strap, got a zip tie, got some 3D printed parts here. Okay, so you got a variety of parts here. So you got a, uh, looks like a camera mount. And I think this is uh, that nylon multi-jet fusion process. It's not, it's kind of 3D printed, but it's kind of like injection molded. So it's gonna be pretty strong. I think there's some motor, uh, yeah, some like, uh, feet here. They're made from the same material that go under the motors. That are, probably act as landing feet and there's some screws there. Now this is a traditional TPU 3D printed part here for uh, GPS. And another one of these nylon printed parts. I think this is for their uh, new video transmitter. Uh, I actually got that as well. It's in here. It's called the um, Solo Tank. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be building this out with that or not, but that, that's what this is for. Got a TP printed uh, antenna uh, piece here, and this is for a Crossfire Immortal T antenna. Got some nice aluminum side plates for the camera area. They go in the front. And the rest of these are uh, mainly um, screws and standoffs for putting the frame together, and then you have a battery pad. And of course your stickers. So that's pretty much it. So go ahead, I'll put this together really quick. Let's we'll see what it looks like and talk about it, the frame. And then we'll look at the five inch. All right, so I built the four inch frame as you can see here on the right. I'll show you this here in a second. Did not build the five inch frame um, because I was not able to. The, I guess this main plate here is supposed to have these press fit nuts over here and these holes. And those were nowhere to be found. Apparently, they forgot to uh, install them. They came pre-installed on the four-inch version. They should be they should be pre-installed like not here, but they weren't. And it should be like this. But basically, the frame is almost the same. So just to show you, here's the the top plate for the five-inch. You can put it right over here. So for the main body, uh, the five inch and the four inch are gonna be the same. Now, interestingly, they have this STP etched into the top plate of the five inch version, but not on the four inch version. So there might be some variations in the versions of the frames that they've been putting together. Um, obviously the arms are gonna be different thicknesses. So I believe this main plate here is two and a half millimeters and the arms are four millimeters thick on the four inch version. The five inch version of this main plate is three millimeters thick and the arms are going to be five millimeters thick. As you can see, the front and the back arms are one piece and um, all the hardware is pretty nice. The screws and the standoffs are, I would say, all above average, including the carbon. Um, I've seen pretty bad frames in my time and this is not the very best, but obviously not average. I think it's slightly above average in my opinion based on all the frames that I've reviewed in the past. 
The uh, front camera plate is the same as well between the four and the five inch as well as the other 3D printer parts. I'm not gonna show you those again. Now, um, for the assembly part, pretty simple. There's basically, uh, for the front and back arms, there's gonna be four screws. There's a bag with eight um, M2 screws. There go here. They're gonna be longer, obviously, for the five inch, but it'll be pretty obvious which ones to do. So basically, you wanna put them through this uh, sandwich plate and the arms and then screw them in to the bottom plate here, this bottom main plate, and that gives you the basis of the frame. And then you screw the side plates here on the bottom, right on these two screws. And then uh, the standoffs, there's gonna be two here and two here. Screw those in and then you put the top plate on. So it's a pretty basic frame. Uh, the top plate and the sandwich plate are, I think, one and a half millimeters, so not super thick. So obviously all the stress and everything is going to be uh, born on the arms and on the main plate. The five inch does have these um, extra uh, braces that go between the front and the back motors. That gives it a little bit more stability. So if you're going to be doing some more aggressive flying on the five inch, these are probably worth putting on and you can see that they have the cutouts for the motors there. Um, so they'll, it's pretty easy to line up. So the bag with these little landing feet that go under the motors, they come with longer screws, which is great because you're gonna need them because uh, you know, obviously putting this on here is going to, uh, whatever motor screws you have, they're gonna have to be longer. But this is a very nice print. Gonna give you something to land on. You definitely recommend putting these on. They don't weigh that a whole lot more, and uh, you don't want to be landing on these screws here. So definitely use these. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you the weight of everything with the four-inch frame. So this is the frame by itself, uh, sort of bare minimal here, and it's coming in at 54 grams, I think. In the product spec, it's like 58 grams. So I have to add the weight of this little camera mount here that goes on these little screws here. So it's to mount like this but I'm not gonna fly with a full-size GoPro or mm, might not even fly with a naked GoPro. I'm just gonna fly with like a, the GoTo or something like that. So I'm gonna probably use a different mount here, probably a custom mount, but we'll add the weight of that. That's probably, yeah, that's pretty heavy with that, that thick screw there. It takes it to 62 grams. Let's double check that. Yeah, this is, this is pretty heavy, this little mount here. So 62 for that. And then when you throw in all the feet plus the longer screws, now we're coming in at 70. Yeah, let's throw the battery strap on there too. 73, and then this is the, if you're flying crossfire, this is the Immortal T-mount. And it's 75 for the four inch, if you're gonna be like basically fully loading everything on here. But yeah, this uh, frame does remind me a lot of the way the Diatone Roma F4 looks. And if you look at the bottom, and the way it's designed, pretty, Similar to the front arms are a little bit straighter on the Roma. The camera's a little bit further back. The camera's a little more further forward on the STP. But yeah, pretty similar design themes here. The, the uh, back part is a little bit longer on the Roma. And I think the Roma is a little bit lighter. I think it's a, if I remember right, it was uh, under 50 grams for that frame. In terms of mounting options, you have your all-in-one whoop style mount here for your diamond shape flight controller and a 20 by 20 mount and then in the back you have a 20 by 20 mount all these are m2 screws of course for like a vista or, or uh, analog video transmitter they do include these longer screws and spacers and nuts for the vista if you if you're planning on putting a vista in sometimes those screws are hard to find these longer ones so they include that as well so that's pretty nice but yeah so that's pretty much it for this one um yeah, I'm not sure what I'm putting, uh, gonna be putting into this yet. Uh, not exactly sure when this build's gonna be coming out because I'm a little behind on my builds, but yeah. If you guys have any suggestions, um, recommendations, or what you'd like to see in this type of frame. Um, I particularly like the four inch class, I think more than a five inch class now, so probably gonna be building this one out and not the five inch, but yeah, if you are really wanting to see a five inch build, let me know in the comments. So that's gonna do it for this video. Talk to you guys in the next one.